Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Long Branch is being brought to you by Rosario Realty. The finale of the first ever bowl season in the NJSIAA. The Shawnee Renegades, who rallied from a 2-6 and six record to win four straight to earn a spot at MetLife, facing the Long Branch Green Wave and their passionate fan base looking to close the season with a South Group 4 bowl title. The Renegades came to play. They've been sparked by a freshman quarterback. This is Matt Wilsey on the move, avoiding the sack from big country Kevin Cerruti, and that is some quality yardage right there. And what an opening drive for Shawnee. The give is to Joe Dalsey. He's running with confidence, and he won't be stopped. Dalsey in the zone, 17 yards. What a start for the Renegades. It's 7-0 in the first. Long Branch forced to punt it away on their next possession. Zadir Blueford handling the low snap, and he's going to improvise. Blueford is taken off. That's a first down run for the Green Wave punter, plus 15 yards more for a late hit. But Long Branch would stall near midfield. Closing seconds of the first quarter. Wellsey continues to play like a seasoned veteran. Joe Dalsey's got it. Two touchdowns of the first for Dalsey. 16-yard scoring play. Shawnee races out to a 14-0 lead at the end of one. The Long Branch offense couldn't get going in the first half. This is John Searcy with the quarterback sack. The Renegades were dominant for 22 minutes. And here's Joe Dalsey doing it all for Shawnee. TD run, TD catch, and now 31-yard field goal. It's good to go. Shawnee has a 17-0 lead, 2.20 to go in the half. Long Branch was dormant for the entire first half until this play. Ensuing kickoff, Jayon Farrar fielding the short kick, and he's got an opening. Farrar picks up 32 yards into Shawnee territory, and here comes Mark Dennis, showing great patience. He finds Jermaine Corbett. Corbett starts to move the chains for the first time in the game. The talented junior down to the 19-yard line. And it would lead to this. Jermaine Corbett, six yards coming right at you. Long Branch gets on the board. They feel like they're right back in it. At the half, Shawnee with a 17-7 lead. Opening drive of the third. Long Branch marches right down the field. Dennis made some big-time passes in this game. Here he hits Blueford, who's down to the one-yard line. And on the next play, Jermaine Corbett finds the hole. He's in the zone from a yard out. And just like that, we have got a 17-14 ball game. Long Branch has played great in the third quarter all season long, and no bigger 12 minutes than this one. On the ensuing kickoff, Jason Glasper causes a fumble. It's on the MetLife turf and on the bottom of the pile. Who's got it? Long Branch does. Luke Arnold comes up with the recovery, and the Green Wave take over at the 27-yard line. All the momentum in Long Branch's favor, and Dennis is going to take advantage of that. Rolling right. This pass is gorgeous to the end zone. Matt Clark, 21 yards. And yeah, Clark has every reason to celebrate in an NFL end zone. Extra point, no good. 20 straight points for the Green Wave. We've got a 20 to 17 ball game. Later in the third, Welsey was slippery the whole night. He was able to extend plays with his ability to escape a fierce pass rush. Welsey looking to put Shawnee back in front, but this pass picked off by William Levy. Long Branch's defense buckled down after the first half and would be called upon often with the title on the line. You know, Kevin Cerruti has been a favorite of Jersey Sports Zone. How about one more big country highlight? Cerruti gets to Wesley and ragdolls him to the turf. Oh my, what a sack. At the end of three, it remains a 20 to 17 Long Branch lead. Fourth quarter, Shawnee threatens again. Dalsey was fantastic, 114 yards on the ground. This run has the Renegades on the move to the 39 yard line. But once again, Long Branch gets a critical turnover. This time it's Devin Blount on the INT and a great run back near midfield. Seventh interception of the season for Devin Blount Five minutes to go, and the Green Wave got the ball back. Long Branch would get a couple of first downs from Corbett, and then Mark Dennis on fourth down with the pooch kick. This is exactly what the Green Wave wanted to do. Shawnee takes over on their own nine-yard line, down three with 139 to go. Can the Green Wave come up with one more stop? Fourth and 23, Welsey not ready to give up. His pass over the middle, complete to Nate Semerville. He's got the first down as he leaps into Long Branch territory. 35 seconds to go. Shawnee looking to get into field goal range to force overtime. But in the final seconds, 
Wellesley, time runs out on him. Glasper is able to drag him down here. Arnold recovers that fumble, but Glasper was already called down when his knee touched the ground, and that gives the Long Branch Green Wave the South Group 4 Bowl title thanks to 20 unanswered points. And what a great scene there at MetLife Stadium. That is one heck of a way to close out the 2018 high school football season in New Jersey. 20 to 17 is your final. Jermaine Corbett ran for 85 yards and two touchdowns. He finished the year over the 2,000 yard mark. The Long Branch defense comes up with two interceptions in the second half and the special teams unit gets that critical fumble that sets up the game winning score. Shawnee played one tough schedule and it paid off as they made it all the way to MetLife. What a great year for the Renegades. Our post game coverage begins with head coach Dan George, who was beaming with pride on his team's comeback and a special 12 and one season. For my kids to be a part of them and watch them mature and grow over four years and end up at MetLife Stadium against one of the great South Jersey football teams, the Shawnee, and to beat them in the first ever bowl game is just, I, I can't describe it. It's like a, it's like a, you know, movie ready to be made. It's awesome. It was the line. The line got it done and I followed. 2,000 yards, what does that mean to you on this stage? You got your 2,000th yard at an NFL stadium. It means a lot. I'm happy. I'm proud. We just came out here and we started playing ball. We switched the defense a little bit. We started moving the rover to the running back side because they were going away like they were shifting over. So we just moved them up. And we just said to the seniors, hey, this is your last game. Most of us aren't going to be playing college ball next year. So we want to just go out with a win. It feels amazing, man. I'm trying to hold in my tears. <laughs> you so Why are you emotional right now? Because I can never play for this team again after this day. And this was a great team, great coaches, a great organization. You gonna remember this the rest of your life? For sure.